Hi guys, welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings, Tarot Readings from the Heart. So we're going to do your week ahead reading for you uh, today. It's Monday the 14th through to Sunday the 20th of October 2019. These are the cards. I've got, I often get asked what cards I'm using in the reading. So I'd like to show you the cards that I'm actually using for your reading. So we always start off with the weekly check-in where we look at the week ahead and we just look at kind of, um, you know, general things coming through um, and we look at various areas concerning the week and for that we use this top row of cards here. We use the Everyday Enchantment Tarot by Poppy Palin. We use the Ancestor Path Tarot by Julia Kuchia Watts. We use the Tarot Grand Lux and New Deck by Chiro Machete. It's probably not so new but definitely as mass marketed deck it's fairly new so uh, Chira Marchetti the tarot grand looks and we also use for your advice a new deck that was bought uh, the tarot deck uh, art of life tarot deck by Charles Livingston um, this is a very kind of different tarot deck because what this tarot deck guys does is it has the same 78 cards but you've got quotes on each of the 78 cards so that's why I'm using this I don't use this in kind of readings you know traditionally as cards for readings I use these more as advice which is really nice for your second reading where we look at the 10 card work area and the 10 card love area, we use my favourite card, my favourite deck of all, the Dark Mansion Tarot. Phenomenal guys. Uh, we use this one here. Um, and we are also using for your advice for love and money, uh, Tea Leaf Fortune cards by uh, Ray Hepburn and also the Romance Angels by Doreen Virtue. Okay, enjoy your reading guys. Hi guys, welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings, Tarot Readings from Heart. Thanks ever so much for joining me on your reading. Uh, we're going to be doing the 14th through to the 20th of October 2019. We're going to be uh, doing your weekly check-in reading first, then we're going to be looking at your love reading and well, your work reading first, sorry, and then your love reading afterwards. Okay, I'm not going to be appearing directly on the reading this week. I just want to be able to show you guys the cards today. So, yeah, sit back and enjoy the reading. Hi, Taurus. Welcome to Carol's Universe. Tarot readings, tarot readings uh, from the heart. We're going to do your weekly reading. We're looking at the weekly checking, guys. We're then, Taurus, looking at your work, and we're also looking at uh, love for you. Uh, what's happening between the 14th and the 20th uh, of October 2019. So let's have a look, guys, at what we can see coming in for Taurus. Okay, Taurus, so we've got your uh, we've got your reading down here. Let's have a let's have a look at uh, what's going on with you guys. So this week, Taurus, you guys are showing as being judgment. I want to try and just pull these cards up a little bit because the bottom cards aren't showing too good. The entire so you're showing as being judgment this week. Some of you guys are making a judgment this week because uh, judgment is all about making important decisions. Some of you guys are a bit of a crossroads with the judgment energy. Some of you guys are calling something out or you're facing something here. Because when you judgment, Taurus, it means several things. The judgment card can mean um, transformation because it's ruled by Pluto, planet of death. So this talks about death and rebirth. So some of you guys might be going through a really important transformation this week, being the judgment energy. Some of you guys, Taurus, with the judgment energy, it might be that you're connecting with people that you haven't spoken to in a while because judgment is raising people from the dead. You know, so this is you calling. You're probably the angel here calling people that you haven't spoken to in a while. This is also, as I've said, a time of personal transformation for some of you Taurians. Um, and also it could be with the judgment energy, you're taking accountability for your own your own stuff because that's what judgment is as well judgment is all about taking accountability for you know your sins for the things that we do that aren't right so this is all about taking accountability and taking ownership for the things that aren't right and also judgment is really just about taking a you know a really close look in that mirror and it's kind of looking at yourself for who you are and what you are you know because judgment if you think about judgment in the book of revelation guys it's all about um 
the book of Revelation is where we have, I'm a Christian, I was raised as a, actually as a Seventh-day Adventist, and we were taught growing up, being a Seventh-day Adventist, that there would come a day of judgment when all the dead in Christ and all the living in Christ would be judged. And all of these people rising up are actually the dead people, the people who have died, and now the day of judgment, when the trumpet sounds... On the day of judgment, you're being raised. So it doesn't matter if you're alive or if you're dead, you're being brought or you're being raised to take accountability for your sins. So if you're judging your if your judgment, you're either judging yourself, Taurus, or you probably could be judging someone here. You literally could be kind of calling someone out and bringing someone to um, bringing someone to task, uh, making somebody face up to their own shit or face up or take accountability or ownership for something that they've done. What's the reason for this? Oh, it's because of the Empress. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so, you eyes are judgment. And I feel that you are bringing someone or something to account here. Because often when I think about the judgment energy, you know, it can be a personal transformation, yes. But you'd have to be the people here. You'd have to be the people on the bottom of the card if you're going through that transformation. Because you're heeding the call. That's what the judgment card is as well. The judgment card is all about heeding the call. It's about paying attention to your calling as well. So some of you guys, it might be that you're following your calling this week. What's it about? It's about the Empress. Maybe this is... if you're. I think if you're following your calling, it might be something to do with uh, Taurus giving birth to a new creative venture, which is what the Empress is. Because the Empress is giving birth. So this might be about something that you are giving birth to. So I think we're going to go along those lines, actually. And we're going to say... Taurus, that this week for you guys, it's all about following your calling. Uh, and it's funny because, therefore, you are the people on judgment here. And because you're following the calling of the of the angel. All right. But then sometimes you can follow your own calling. Sometimes it takes a while just to snap into position and do certain things. But then suddenly something happens. And all of a sudden, it's that epiphany that happens with judgment. Cards that indicate epiphanies are cards like judgment and the tower. Because they're an awakening type of thing. They both represent an awakening. So some of you guys are going through a time of awakening. You're going through a time with this judgment energy. Um, Taurus of realisation. And are facing up to... Um, you know, listening to the to God in your inner ear, listening to your intuition with that judgment energy and really following your path, you know, really getting on the path with the judgment energy. It's not about taking accountability, I don't think, here. I think it's more about kind of following your calling. It's almost like suddenly you, you, you wake up one morning maybe, Taurus, and you say, oh, yeah, I get it. Now I understand what I'm here for or now I understand what I'm going to be doing because I think that you guys are giving something birth to something new. It doesn't have to necessarily be creative with the Empress, but definitely I feel that you're actually giving birth to something new. So therefore we can say two things. Some of you guys are going through a real epiphany stage. You're awakening. You're waking up. You're suddenly realizing what you're here for with the judgment energy. And some of you guys uh, with the judgment energy are literally going through a very personal transformative stage with the judgment energy because this is all about rebirth because or birth because the Empress is all about birth. So this is all about new beginnings for some of you guys this week. What is it that you need to... What is your goal this week? Your goal... Oh, the six of coins reversed. I think that your goal is to give to yourself. That's what it is because the six of coins... Reverse means many things. The six of coins reverse can mean somebody he's mean. Six of coins reverse can mean that you're not getting enough or you're not giving enough. So sometimes when you get this card, it can be one-sided. It's more about kind of you're either giving too much or somebody's getting too much with the six of coins uh, in the reverse. Sometimes it can mean that you're paying money out. But I just get the impression that it's almost like with these two cards, Taurus, you guys are going through a really strong transformative stage and that is you the empress because the empress is ruled by libra and taurus energy and when we look at the taurus energy of the empress energy it's all about looking very closely at what your personal values are so really this is all about you guys going through a time of birth rebirth you're being reborn really with the empress energy uh, because I think that this rebirth, Taurus, is all about you guys looking at what your own personal values are. And if this is about you guys looking at what your personal values are, Taurus, then it's probably got something to do with, actually, I'm not doing this anymore. I'm not giving so much anymore. Because I think that you're taking stuff back with that six of coins in the reverse. That's your goal. It's to take things back. But it's also probably not to be as generous, not to be as giving. It might be, I get the impression somebody's been taking advantage or you've just been giving too much. And suddenly this week and going into the next few weeks, uh, 
Taurus, you guys are kind of like, actually, I'm not doing that anymore because what am I getting from it? Because the six of coins can mean that you're, you know, you're you're giving, but you're not getting anything back. So some of you guys are kind of like, actually, my goal is to stop giving as much because I'm not getting anything back. And this is where the rebirth is coming in with both cards, the transformation and the birth, the rebirth. Uh, because you guys are very much paying attention to your own personal values because you are the empress. It's ruled by Taurus as well. Uh, what is the obstacle you need to overcome, though? Ah, oh, magician reversed. They're all reversed. No, no, they're not. Two reversals. Um, the magician reversed is having the power, the willpower. I don't think that this is a person, because I, I think if it's a person, you already know what this trickster is, you know? I don't think it's a person. I think with the magician reversed, the obstacle you need to overcome is having the strength and the willpower, the will to do it having the determination and feeling that you have the abilities and the talents to actually do this thing with the six of coins in the reverse. What could you be achieving by the end of the week? Um, the hermit, great insight. Not only are you doing what you said you wanted to do, whatever this detachment is with the hermit energy, not only are you detaching yourself from the need to give to others or give too much to others, whether this is a partner or a family member or work colleagues, whatever it is, what you're also achieving is a personal insight into why, perhaps, because he's looking into the, the magician reverse. A magician reverse means feeling a lack of power, and that's the obstacle that you need to overcome. You don't feel confident enough to do this. You say you want to do it, but you don't feel confident enough to do it, Taurus. Okay, uh, but what you could be accomplishing is the hermit energy, great insight into perhaps why this is, why you, you know, what you feel. Uh, not only is it the ability uh, with the hermit energy to detach oneself a little bit, but also there is the ability to find great insight and great inner knowledge as to why you feel so powerless to actually fulfill the six of coins in the reverse. Because I think there's someone or something you no longer want to give to. It's probably because you're just not getting anything back. Uh, what do you need to avoid? Uh, hanging around, hangman. You just need to avoid not taking any action on that six of coins in the reverse. Um, well, let me just try and move this camera a little bit because it's kind of slightly wonky. I don't know why the camera always ends up looking wonky. It's quite annoying when I do my readings, actually, because I like them the, cam the, the, the cards to look really straight. But anyway, let's have a look at this. There we go. Uh, the hangman. So the hangman is procrastination. The hangman, I mean, the hangman, you can read it a variety of ways. You can say it's letting go. You can say it's surrendering. Uh, you can say it's looking at things from another perspective. You can say it's a spiritual enlightenment card. You can say it's a sacrifice card. Uh, but also you can say with the hangman, it's a card that just says that we deliberate, we procrastinate and we do nothing. We just kind of hang around. And also with the hangman, if you look at this hangman, can you see the child's face? He's just messing. Can you see the guy in the back? He's got his hands on his head. There's a woman here. She's got. Her, she's like, what is he doing? What a, this person's just kind of messing around, you know? So you probably want to avoid messing around. If, if you're serious about something here, Taurus, then do it. If you're serious about it, do it. Don't procrastinate, don't hang around, and don't do things in a half-hearted way because the handman can indicate half-hearted energy as well. So doing things in a really, really half-hearted way. All right, you need to avoid doing things in a half-hearted way, okay? Um, sorry, one moment here. I just need to check something out. Let's have a look. Okay. Uh, no, my darling, because your reading's already been done. <laughs> you can't do that now. Um, right. Um, let's have a look. The next card that you need to um, embrace, what do you need to embrace? The Nine of Wands energy. You've got to stick in there with that Nine of Wands. You've got to stick in there. If, if you're going to do something here, if you're going to start decide to stop giving so much of your time or so much of your resources... Because you're not getting anything back. You've got to stick to it no matter what with the Nine of Wands energy. No matter if somebody please you and says, oh, please, please don't do that, Doris, please, please. You've got to stick with it, the Nine of Wands. You've just got to stick with it. All right? There's no time to deliberate and mess about. You've got to stick with it. And what's the overall uh, outcome here? Well, it's not the overall outcome. The card is who can you get support from? Get support from the Ace of Wands, okay? This is somebody who's quite forceful and quite powerful. This is someone who's going to drive you. This is someone who's going to 
you know, they're going to push you into doing this because the Ace of Wands is a strong, powerful force. This is somebody who's quite strong, quite powerful and quite forceful. This person will tell you, no, if you're going to do this, then do it. Then do it, you know. There's no time to hang around and procrastinate and stuff. There's just no time for that. No time whatsoever. Okay. Let's get this reading again, Taurus. You guys are definitely, for me, going through a transformative stage this week. I think it's because you're realising your own personal value, being the Taurus side of that Empress. You're recognising what your own personal value is. And really, you're taking a good, hard look in that mirror with the judgment energy. Okay? And you're realising with the judgment energy, there's an epiphany and awakening here. You're being called now to rise. Because I think that some of you guys, being the dead people here, you've been dead for a while. And when, when you're dead in a way, when you're living and you're dead, you're kind of just, you, there's, you're just being very passive about everything. You're just saying, yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's not an issue. Yeah, yeah, I'll, don't worry, I'll put up with that. It's fine. You're not reacting, obviously. If you're alive and you represent somebody who's coming back from the dead, you're kind of being gone and you've been vacant for a while on a situation. You haven't been gone, Taurus, but I feel that you've been vacant. I think you've been putting up with a lot. But suddenly there's a calling here now that you need to kind of rise from that grave. It's a time of rebirth because you're recognising your own personal value with that Empress. And your goal is not to give anymore. Six of coins in the reverse. For some of you guys, it's to take back everything you've given. For some of you guys, it's not to give so much. Because I think there's a recognition here, especially in that personal value, that whatever it is that you're giving here, Taurus, you're just not getting enough back. And I think that the only obstacle you need to overcome is that you lack the willpower at times to do this. This is why you need to uh, avoid the hanged man. Kind of just hanging around, not taking it so seriously, saying one thing but then doing another thing. Doing things in a half-hearted way with the hanged man energy showing here. Because you just really lack the kind of power and the vision to drive through that six of coins in the reverse. But I do feel that you're going to gain some personal wisdom and insight and inner knowledge by the end of the week. Okay, You could also, if you want to follow through with not giving as much, be acting in a very detached way against whoever this is that you are no longer wishing to give to. Uh, embrace it. You're going to have to hold on in there. you know, And you're going to have to hold firm to your decisions as well. Regardless, even if it tortures you, even if it makes you feel bad, even if you, you know, somebody's like, oh, please, please, you can't do this to me, you can't do that to me, you can't, you can't just not give me any more, or you can't, you know, you can't give me money anymore, or you can't not help me anymore. You've got to stick to your gun with the nine of wands energy, no matter how painful it is. If you need help, go to someone who's going to force you, go to someone who's going to be as forceful and as, uh, you know, um, directive as the ace of wands is. Because this person will say, no, you stick to your guns. Because that's the power of the Ace of Wands. It's a forceful energy. This could be a male energy as well. Ace of Wands is a very forceful masculine energy. So maybe this is a man you need to turn to that you know, that type of thing. Let's have a quick look at what your advice is, my darlings. Uh, Universe Spirit, what is the advice? And we're using the Art of Life Tarot deck because it has quotes on it for your advice card. So what is the advice you have for Taurus on this reading? The advice is, let's have a look, uh, page of cups, there is no instincts like that of the heart, absolutely, so really what it's saying is, there's no instinct like that of the heart, you've got to follow your heart, you've got to follow your heart, if your heart's telling you to do something, which I think it is in these areas here, it's telling you that now is the time, because judgment, when it comes to timing, it's kind of like, it's now, 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 now is the time to start recognizing with the empress energy your own personal value so there's no instinct like that of the heart follow your intuition and follow your heart on this because your heart is telling you it's time to start looking out for yourself all right bear with me uh taurus what we're going to do is we're going to get your work reading bear with me okay taurus so we've got uh we've got your work reading okay let's have a look at what we can see for work so the hermit, some of you guys, when you get the hermit in a reading, sometimes this is about withdrawing uh, from a job with the hermit energy showing here. Sometimes this could be about getting some advice from a skilled expert as well. So hermit, uh, the sun energy. Okay. So the sun energy, for me, this looks like an ending coming up. It is a number nine card. So you're nearing the end. Some of you guys are looking probably to even retire 
with that hermit energy because the hermit can indicate retirement okay within a job so some of you guys are you know retiring or you're leaving the job with the hermit energy for something new if you're retiring then you know with the sun energy it's a time of rebirth and newness and doing lots of new things with the sun energy you know the sun energy is also about fulfillment as well so this could definitely be retiring some of you guys have finally completed you know all the work that you've done within your working career with the hermit energy and you know with the sun energy this is kind of like fulfillment now you've fulfilled the role you're moving on some you got i'm getting with these two cards retirement here for some of you taurians okay some of you guys are withdrawing from a job or you're looking for hermit energy is also looking into doing something new with that sun energy showing here uh, page of Wands, I mean Page of Wands would be a new creative venture, a new job, so I'm definitely getting some of you guys are actually possibly looking to withdraw from a job, it looks like you're looking to do something new here to me, because the Page of Wands would be a new job, or this would be like a junior position, or doing a position that you haven't done before, or doing something new and creative, let's have a look, Eight of Swords, though. I'm seeing some limitations though, or there might be some worries or some anxiety with that Eight of Swords energy, Knight of Wands energy showing here. Um, the the Knight of Wands. If you look at this Knight of Wands, I I don't really like. I love the the depiction of him on the uh, Dark Mansion Tarot, but he's always so angry. He's always so angry, and some of you guys are trying to protect yourself from this individual. I see you trying to isolate yourself from a Knight of Wands. Very pushy individual be the Knight of Wands energy. So I actually feel that some of you guys, it might be here. We're getting two isolation cards, Hermit and the Eight of Swords. Both cards indicate to isolate oneself, okay? I don't see this as a group, the sun, but I see you guys possibly even with the Hermit looking into, because Hermits look into things. So looking for something better probably. New job, Page of Wands. I get the impression some of you guys are isolating yourself from a very pushy individual within the workplace. There's someone here you don't like. I get the impression you might be looking to do something else, gently removing yourself from a particular job here, possibly because there's someone here who's quite pushy, probably looking for something better, something new uh, with the Page of Wands. Because the Sun energy is all about just a new challenge. It's a new beginning. It's a better job. It's a happier beginning. It's a more positive beginning. And the Page of Wands is often about a new creative venture, a new job. So I feel that you're wanting to leave a job, looking for something new. It feels to me that you guys are feeling really kind of hemmed in and also with that Eight of Swords energy. You're trying to isolate yourself, but also you're feeling very much under pressure i would say with that eight of swords energy by a very pushy individual with the knight of swords but also wanting to isolate yourself from a very pushy individual in the workplace here the five of coins when it comes to work means either that you choose to leave the job or you don't feel a part of the culture within the job or you're being pushed out with the five of coins energy you've got two pages here okay so i definitely feel that this is about new beginnings new job new creative venture we've got this page of cups and we've got this page of wands energy here so we've got the two pages in the reading i don't see any young energy around you as yet three pages four pages would represent young energy that helps you to move forward in a in a new direction but there's two pages here so this can be and they're usually quite nice pages if i see say if sort of a page of swords and then a page of cups like you generally get the thing it's a mixed message but I don't get that because these are two really good cards for pages. So I don't really see mixed messages with these two pages. But I do see that the correlation between both cards are about new creative ventures. And I definitely feel that you guys are interested in doing something new uh, in terms of work. Leaving the workplace with the five of coins because you've got the hermit and the five of coins energy here. All right. So the hermit energy in terms of work, it's either that you're leaving a place, you're retiring from a place, or you're looking for something else. I get the impression that you guys are really at the verge of leaving now with that hermit energy here. Uh, sometimes the five of coins means that you feel kind of like the outsider in a job. But I just feel that these two cards almost indicate the need to leave an individual, a leave a place here leave a job, five of coins and that hermit energy, it just feels that you're ready to leave someone here, and I feel it's because you're feeling really hemmed in by a very pushy individual, it's almost like you can't breathe in the job, Taurus, it almost feels like in your career you can't breathe, because you've got somebody who's so pushy, they're always pushing you, and you just feel that you can't breathe with the eight of swords, and what I'm getting here with these three cards, page of cups, the sun and the page of wands, you're looking for something that is more freer, I feel that within, uh, which is why we've got the two nice pages here. The page of cups is visualizing. So this 
it's somebody who's fantasizing and the page of wands energy is all about the creativity so this is somebody who is on a new creative venture and this is somebody who uh, they're both creative cards to be honest with you when you get in them in a work reading they're all about new new jobs new positions new creative ventures and you've got the sun as well if you'll notice they're all children cards so I think that you're just looking for a place that you can go to that's a lot more relaxed with these energies showing up here yeah, you'd, I think with these core four cards here, what I'm seeing here is that you guys are looking for somewhere that you can just relax. You can have a laugh, you can relax, you can just feel contented. Um, you know, you can be around people who are probably a lot more relaxed. I get the impression here that you're in a far more austere environment because we've got that pushy knight of wands who's pushing you, you know, and it's like you can't breathe with the eight of swords and all you want to do is you want to isolate yourself from this individual here because it's almost like working in a factory when you get the knight of wands is like, you know, how many, I don't know what they do in factories, but you know, how many boxes have you packed in an hour? That type of thing would be the knight of wands energy. He'd just be a really pushy person. Look how he's got the club guys. Can you see that? Look how he's being so pushy against that eight of wands, eight of swords girl. She got her hands behind her back. Can you see him? He's just brutalizing her, basically. He's really horrible. So I just feel that you work in a route. Some of you guys are working in a really horrible environment. Some very pushy people here. They're very much about times and targets and things like that. Um, some of you guys, it might be that you work in a communications environment as well. This might be somebody who's pushing you with the Eight of Swords energy to hit those targets in terms of communication. Looks like you're surrounded by words and communication all day. All day. So you might be working on the phones, that type of thing, being told to hit targets to get more customers, that type of thing. And I do feel that you guys with this Hermit and the Five of Coins, you're very, very close now with that Hermit energy to leaving this workplace. Uh, with the five of coins because it's very dickensian i think this work plays is it's like come on bitch you know <laughs> hit those targets come on slap you know it's like a slave mentality and you're looking to leave that behind because the core of you is here that what you actually want taurus is you want to have a far more relaxed environment where the energy is lighter with those pages and the sun and the nine of cups where it's freer where it's friendlier because the pages are friendly energy as well if you get things like the page of swords might not be so friendly en energy but certainly the page of wands and the page of cups they're very friendly energy and the sun and the nine of cups it's a lovely energy you just want some where you can relax and there's a lot of friendly uh, and pleasant energy and also probably a little bit more youthful energy is what because we do have three children cards really the sun the page of wands and the page of cups so you're looking for an energy i think for some of you taurians where it's just laid back it's a bit more fun driven with those young children energies here in the cards you know it's a bit more joyous you know people can laugh and people don't take things so seriously what are the last two cards yeah there's a lot of fighting here these, it's all, we've got the two cards here, then we've got four cards, and we've got the core four cards here, and then we've got four cards, five of wands energy. Yeah, there's a lot of worries, and there's a lot of pressure, and there's a lot of conflict in the workplace. These four cards are really talking about a story here, so let's separate them off. We've got two here, we've got the four core ones here. And then we've got the four end ones here. So if we break up the story, Taurus, and say that this week what I feel is going on with you in work, Taurus, is this. This energy starts here. So you guys are dealing with some pretty nasty energy in work, I think. I think that this is you, the Eight of Swords, Taurus. And I feel that you're feeling really trapped in the job that you do. I feel that that, that kind of um, adding to that is this very pushy individual. Now, it's a knight. So this is probably not even a boss. This is probably just some scraggy little colleague that's been given more responsibility or this is a supervisor knight of swans the knights would probably be supervisors they're not kings they're not queens they've risen up the ranks from being a page but they're not in a really high position so this to me looks like it's probably a supervisor that type of thing but this person is kind of adding to your woes of the eight of swords this person is making you feel like oh for fuck's sake i've got to get out of this i can't deal with this no more i can't deal with this person no more they're driving me fucking crazy i can't deal with this person no more and you can't deal with them because all you want to do is hide away from them aka you being in the eight of swords you feel imprisoned by them all they do is push you and this is some scraggy little supervisor. It might be a boss, yeah, but knights aren't usually bosses. I'm getting that this is some form of a supervisor and they're a real scraggy piece of whatever, yeah? 
lots and lots of conflict showing up here in work as well and also lots of competition within the workplace as well but i don't think this is a place where you want to rise up the ranks at all because you've got this idiot here who's just making life 10 times worse for some of you taurians and what i think is going on here is is that some of you guys are just feeling really frustrated also not just that but also very frustrated at doing the same old same old mundane job over and over again because the edge coins can be doing the same old job over and over and over again and the five of ones can be oh man i'm tired of this i'm frustrated i'm fed up i can't be asked with this no more so some of you guys it's not just that you're dealing with some little kind of you know you know the office is it david brent some office kind of david brent idiot who's kind of like quite pushy and blah 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 you know this person is more of an irritant to be perfectly honest with you they're more irritating Okay, they're more irritating. They're very pushy and very irritating. What they want to do is they want to think that they're the boss, but they're not the boss. They're even worse than a boss, you know, which means that they're not a boss and never will be a boss, yeah? But also you're frustrated about the mundanity of the work. It seems that you don't get anywhere. You won't be getting anywhere in this job. And it just seems like, think, you know, you're doing the same old job over and over again. It's boring. So some of you guys are very close with that hermit energy to leaving because the five of coins is leaving the job. You don't really know where you're going, but it's leaving the safety. The job might provide good money or it might just pay your bills and that. It might be regular money, but it doesn't really... Number one, it doesn't infuse you, Taurus. Number two, you're dealing with an idiot uh, or a couple of idiots, perhaps, or a few idiots. And number three, the job is mundane and it's boring and it's not really getting you anywhere. Um, so therefore, with the five of coins, you're like, you know what, even though this has been a really safe, you know, place for me to work in for a while, I'm very close with that hermit energy to leaving this job. Because what I want is somewhere that's sunny and somewhere where people know how to have fun. And, you know, I've got a younger energy or, you know, it's a fresher energy because these are young and fresh cards. And so is the sun. Sun, page of wands, page of cups, it's young, fresh energy. But so what you're looking for, Taurus, is you want somewhere that's happy. Sun, page of wands, page of cups. Now, why do you got the good pages, you know? You want somewhere where there's a young vibe, a young energy, where there's a freshness. Somewhere where you can perhaps sit down and relax and talk. And, you know, there's open spaces. And you don't want the little crumpled old shit where they're saying, what, bitch? You don't want that. You want somewhere that you're going to go to where it's going to be really comfortable. And you're going to be able to just get on with the job and just relax and talk to your co-workers. And, you know, just it's like working at Google, you know, walk around barefoot or something like that. You just want somewhere that's relaxed. That's what you're looking for. I think you really are done with somewhere this, this week, uh, Taurians. What we're going to do, we're going to get a for your work reading. We're going to get the career card out. And what I'm using, I was using the uh, tea leaf cards, but I just fancy using the answer deck at the moment. So what is the advice you have for... Um, Taurus and their careers, please, this week. I see them as wanting to leave somewhere. They've had enough. What do you? What advice do you have for Taurus and their career? Um, it says solitude. Well, yeah, you've got the hermit there, and that's solitude. So I see, and this solitude is all about moving away. Um, okay, wealth. Okay, so some of you guys, you've got wealth here. Let's have a look at the next one. And faith. Wealth and faith. You have faith. Okay, so... Let me have a look at these cards. The advice for your career is you're moving away. Can you see how you're moving away from wealth? I think that you're moving away from somewhere that provided a lot of wealth or provided a lot of financial security. But what I'm getting here is that you had problems with someone in this workplace and also the job was really mundane. It was doing the same old, same old thing over and over again and you're looking for something that's fresh, that's new. So also we could say with these two cards, the Page of Cups and the Page of Wands, actually, and the Sun as well, you're looking for something entirely new, something that's fresh, something that's exciting, something also that's going to bring some form of contentment with this Nine of Cups energy because you might be earning the money here, but you've got these idiots to contend with and also the boredom of the job. So some of you guys are removing yourself from wealth, from a job that was providing that. But I do feel that you guys have faith. Yeah, I think that the universe is saying that even though you're re removing yourself from a job that provided financially for some of you guys, you, you're, you, you've got to have faith that you're going to get what you want. Okay, you're going to get this. You're going to get this sun, page of wands, page of cups. Uh, you know, uh, Nine of Cups energy, okay? You need to have faith and hope. Another card came down. You need to have faith and hope, okay? Showing up here. Have faith and hope that you're going to get what you want, okay? You will have this. 
you will have that new creative venture that you're looking for. You're going to have the place that you want to go to that's more free, that's more fun, that's more doesn't take itself as seriously. That it's, it's not with cruel people. It has more younger, fresher energy. But you just need to know that because you're removing yourself from a place that provided very well for you, have faith and have hope that this energy is going to come in instead. It's going to replace it, and even if it doesn't pay as much money, it's going to give you a lot more. It's going to give you a lot more happiness in the long run. All right, guys, uh, bear with me. I'm going to quickly do your love reading. Hey, okay, Taurus, this is your love reading. Let's have a look at what uh, we've got. Let's pull these down a bit so that it's a bit closer to the, to the actual screen. There we go. Okay, let's have a look at love. So what do we see? Oh, three of swords. Okay, three of swords is heartbreak. It's separation. It's regret it's disappointment three of swords energy seven of cups energy okay so the seven of cups is uh and i think in this uh instance you know this is about looking for other love i think some of you guys are heartbroken with this three of swords energy but i do feel that you're looking at other options now with that seven of cups this week okay seven of swords though okay i think that you're heartbroken taurus because someone was looking at other options someone was being deceptive we've got a seven of swords and a seven of cups showing here so the seven of swords in a love reading it can mean all sorts of things but one of the main meanings of this card is deception somebody was looking around at others and it might be that you're heartbroken because somebody that you loved someone you cared about was actually looking around online in secret seven of cups can also be in the cloud so this can be where somebody's going on to tinder or they're going on to one of these kind of um you know dating websites that type of thing online but you walk in the room and suddenly they shut the computer down but you'll find out some of you guys have found out that somebody was actually being underhanded with that seven of swords energy and uh, looking online at other lovers that type of thing um let's have a look yeah and you've got the two of wands as well so the seven of cups and that two of wands is actually indicating that there are other people involved this person's being deceptive they've been looking around online showing here with the seven of cups energy showing there two of wands uh, energy represents other partners as well so it represents another person in the frame but also this can be from a safe place so somebody looking around online from a safe place for example with the two of wands because the two i learned the word safe place from janine um, and it really, it, she makes a lot of sense when she uses it. I don't know whether any of you guys have seen um, Tarot by Janine. She does a lot of the kind of Meghan Markle and Harry uh, readings. Oh, this looks so lopsided. But she's really good. I love her readings and I learn a lot from her as well. She's brilliant. I learned, One thing I did learn from her for sure was this two of wands can be from a safe place and it makes a lot of sense. So there could be somebody here who's looking around online from a safe place. For example, work, the bedroom when you're not around, that type of thing. But also the two of wands can be having multiple partners. There's multiple partners here. Somebody's playing around with multiple partners. Heartbroken, somebody's playing around. Seven of swords playing around with multiple partners. Two of wands, that's seven of cups as well showing there yeah that they're messaging people here the eight of wands is messaging probably playing around with multiple people messaging people online seven of cups energy from a safe place two of wands energy so from a place that you can't see them uh what else have we got here you guys thinking of walking away probably taurus with the eight of cups energy showing up here um the tower and also some of you guys might have walked into a surprise you might have walked into them. You might have walked in on a surprise because the tower is the surprise card. So I could read this two ways and say some of you guys might have walked into a surprise. You might have uncovered this like surprisingly because you walked the eight of cups is walking towards that tower. So it might have been you got off the boat, you know, you got off the boat, you got off the, you know, the bus or something like that. You got off the transport, you walked in and there you were, the tower. Wow, you discovered them uncovering the tower, uncovering deceit with the Seven of Swords, because the tower is all about uncovering. So you might have walked in on them by accident, tower energy, and uncovered their deceit, that they were sending messages to multiple partners from a safe place. You might have actually uncovered that this person was doing this when you were at work, and you accidentally walked, you know, came home one day early, and you uncovered it. It might be that they left their computer screen open, or you know, the laptop up, you know, screen up and, or, um, you know, their iPad on or their phone on or something like that, but you uncovered it. I think some of you guys uncovered it, but also some of you guys have decided that you want to, you know, you either want to divorce or you want to separate with the tower energy showing up here. Uh, the temperance energy is all about reconciling differences showing here. 
So uh, some of you guys, it depends because you're walking towards the tower. Uh, so it's almost like, because this is the reconciling of the tower. So this is the shift that's taken place, but then having to try and mend this. Because the temperance card for me is all about mending that shift of the tower energy showing here. Uh, the full opportunity, an opportunity to mend the tower, to mend the shift or the rift. Let me have a look at this one here. No, there's no opportunity. I see no opportunity here. Uh, the death card would be the no card, so I see no opportunity to mend the rift. Okay, you guys walking away, eight of cups, no death, opportunity fall to mend temperance, the rift tower. All mages as well, so there's absolutely no way, Jose, that you Taurians are wanting to mend anything with this individual. There's no way. They're all major cards as well. This is like final, final, final decision time. Because this is the rift, this is the mending, this is the opportunity, and this is the death, no. So what I'm getting here, we quickly do this again for you, Tori, is what I'm seeing for love is some of you guys feeling really heartbroken. Uh, you had a partner, Seven of Swords, but they were very deceptive, and you probably walked in on them one day and discovered their deceptiveness. What you discovered with their deceptiveness with the Seven of Swords energy is that this person was juggling multiple partners, Sending messages to multiple Seven of Cups, partners, Two of Wands. Uh, sending messages, Eight of Wands, from a, safe place, from a safe place, Two of Wands. So they were doing it kind of like they had passwords on their, you know, on, on their, um, you know, on their accounts. They were doing it from the bedroom or they were doing it from the home when you weren't there. They were doing it when they felt in a really safe place that they could actually do that. But you discovered it with the Tower Energy, what they were doing. And I think it's been left you really, really heartbroken. All right, uh, and I think some of you guys have decided, actually, I'm going to walk away now with the Eight of Cups energy, and therefore I feel for some of you Taurians there is no opportunity, no death opportunity for to mend temperance, the rift with the Tower energy, because I just feel that this person has lied, and they've probably lied before. They're obviously going out and contacting multiple people, and they're contacting people online as well. Eight of Wands is contact, this is online. This is in the clouds, and they're definitely contacting people online showing up here. All right, they thought they'd got away with it, but you discovered this. I don't see anything being mended in this relationship. Let's have a quick look at what the advice is for love here. So, Universe Spirit, what is the advice that you have for love for Taurus? What is the advice that you have in this love reading? I need three cards, please, Universe. Three cards and tell me, please. All right, that one wants to come out. So, it says there's doubt. Doubt is the first one. Show me the other two cards, please, for love for Taurus. Uh, doubt, um, wisdom, uh, tr the troubleshooter. Okay. Um, I think that some of you guys are going to, in love, for me, this reads as you guys doubting that it would be wise to try and troubleshoot the situation, to try and resolve it, work a way around it. Because when you're a troubleshooter, you're trying to find a solution to a problem. So you guys are doubting that it's wise to try and find a solution. I think you just know that you're dealing with a douchebag, basically. This person has just had multiple partners. They've lied. You've discovered their lies. They've been messaging people online, all sorts of things. And they've been doing it when you're asleep. They've been doing it when you're at work. They've just been doing it from a place that they thought they'd never get discovered, the safe place of the Two of Wands energy. And you guys have said, you know what, that's it. I've had enough Eight of Cups. I'm walking away. And there is no opportunity for us to mend this rift. There's no way. And therefore, in love, you guys are saying, I doubt that it would be wise. So doubt wisdom i doubt it would be wise to try and find a solution troubleshoot this situation mainly because it's over all right guys that is your reading for the week i would like to say taurus thanks ever so much for joining me on carol's universe if you'd like your own private reading you know where to go we've got the uh we've got the link in the comment section below and we've also got it at the end screen as well all right love you guys load have a great week take care bye